Okay, this is only going to be a 10 minute update, but a lot of important information packed into here. I apologize that I'm not able to give you a video for this one. I have been absolutely slammed doing a lot of work in the lab, which you'll see uh, soon. Uh, I can't, can't spill the beans on all that right now. But on the elections and what's coming next, first of all, let me just establish that, uh, not to toot my own horn, but uh, we, we nailed it on the election, uh, the, the outcome possibilities, and also Jeff Sessions being fired. Uh, you, you heard me say that Sessions is going to be fired immediately after the election. He was fired the very next day. And the reason that I knew that was because there's a track of events that's going to take place that involve prosecuting the deep state traitors. And I'll get to that in a second in more detail, but it, it has already begun. Trump is, he has unleashed the Kraken at this point, so to speak. So you're about to find out what, what that means. But back on the election, there were a lot of people pressuring me to say, oh, no, the GOP is going to win this. It's going to be a big red wave. There's so much enthusiasm for Trump. Look at the size of his uh, speeches and, and the arena is full of people and everything. So much enthusiasm. And I looked at the, at the numbers, and you recall me saying over and over again that my uncertainty about this election outcome was very high. And my final prediction was that the, the GOP would keep the Senate and that there was a 40% chance the GOP would defend the House, but a 60% chance the Democrats would take the House. But I also said multiple times that for this election, uncertainty was very, very high which means a very broad range of possible outcomes. And so what we got actually was a split. The GOP did keep the Senate and gained, I think I predicted anywhere from two to five seats was my prediction, something in that range. And it looks like they've gained three seats. So it's right in the ballpark of what we were thinking. And for the House, I, uh, of course, I'm, I'm disappointed that the GOP lost, I think it's 33 seats. But that's not horrific, and it's well within the range of possibility. So pretty much in line with what we expected to see for this election. Now, in terms of what's happening moving forward, the fact that Sessions was fired immediately, well, he says he resigned. Of course, he was, <laughs> he was told, resign or you're out of here. This puts a man named Whitaker, I think that's his name, Whitaker, in charge of the Robert Mueller investigation. It, it leapfrogs over Rod Rosenstein, who may be fired next. I, I expect Rosenstein won't last very long. Whitaker being in charge is huge because this, put, this puts Robert Mueller under the authority of Whitaker. Remember, Jeff Sessions recused himself, which put Rosenstein, the deputy attorney general, in charge of the Robert Mueller investigation, which was unconstitutionally initiated in the first place. It's an illegal investigation. But Whitaker has no such a conflict of interest, and he has not recused himself. And Whitaker intends to run this thing as the acting attorney general of the DOJ. And the interesting thing about Whitaker is that in 2016, he is on the record in a USA Today op-ed saying that he thought Hillary Clinton should be prosecuted and sent to prison. And he also is on the record saying that he believes the Robert Mueller investigation is illegal, unconstitutional, and perhaps he said fraudulent, but maybe that's just a paraphrase. In any case, this is the guy that you want in charge of this right now, because for two years under Jeff Sessions, we did not have an attorney general. Jeff Sessions is a traitor to America. He, he got sworn into office and confirmed, and then the very next day, essentially, he recused himself, which meant that he was going to sit as the attorney general and do nothing. And he knew this in advance. And he did not tell the president and he did not tell the voters. He should have told people before he went through the confirmation, hey, I'm not going to act as attorney general. I'm not going to prosecute the deep state. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit on my hands for two years and let the Democrat deep state run everything. Because that's what he did. And if anybody should be prosecuted for obstruction of justice right now. It's Jeff Sessions. <laughs> Jeff Sessions obstructed justice. And he did it as the attorney general. 
It's a sad, sad case of betraying your country by doing nothing when you had all the power and all the authority in the world to do what was right. And you didn't do anything with it. We'll talk about that more later. In any case, Whitaker now being in charge means that the deep state is panicked. John Brennan should be shaken in his Nazi boots. Hillary Clinton shaken in her boots. Barack Obama, all of them. James Comey, Peter Strzok. They are freaking out. Trust me, they're freaking out right now because they know the evidence proves that they committed massive felony crimes in ordering the FISA warrants to spy on Trump campaign officials, starting with George Papadopoulos and involving many, many others. These were illegal warrants, illegal spying, rampant abuse of power. Barack Obama is uh, complicit in this. And so is the FBI, and so is the DOJ under Obama. And to some extent now, so is Jeff Sessions. Jeff Sessions was an extension of the Obama deep state for two years. He carried out the wishes of the Obama deep state. Well, now things are changing. Now Trump realizes it really is a war. The war is on, the political war. And if Trump doesn't destroy these deep state criminals, they will destroy him and they will destroy America. They will destroy the GOP. They will destroy the independent media. They will destroy this constitutional republic. They will overrule, overrun. They will invade, assassinate, execute, blackmail, anything that they need to do to take power. And they must be defeated. Trump has the power to do that. But he has to have an attorney general who will take action. So mark my words in terms of predictions. This Whitaker individual, I think that's his name. I may have that wrong. He's only a placeholder, temporary guy. In his place is going to be appointed a real bulldog. I don't know who it's going to be. But let's say somebody in the vein of Judge Andrew Napolitano. Somebody like him. Maybe him. Doesn't have to be him, but somebody like him. Somebody who's going to go after the deep state criminals and actually issue indictments. Because, you know, you may recall Devin Nunez, congressman from California, for two years in the House of Representatives, has been issuing subpoenas to Democrats to turn over documents, subpoenas to the FBI, turn over the emails, turn over the FISA warrant memos, unredacted, right? And for two years, the deep state said, nah, we're just going to ignore that. And the reason they were able to get away with that was because the House of Representatives has no arrest authority. They have no prosecutorial power. That power rests solely in the DOJ. Even the FBI doesn't have the power to prosecute. They have to turn cases over to the DOJ. The DOJ can prosecute these deep state criminals who have been trying to ignore the subpoena request from the House. But the DOJ has to be run by someone who's actually interested in enforcing the law, i.e. not Jeff Sessions. So now that Sessions is out, somebody new is coming in. The full power of the DOJ is about to be brought down upon the deep state traitors, the seditious traitors who betrayed America, who violated the law, who committed massive felony crimes, including conspiracy, under the Obama administration and during the Hillary Clinton campaign, corruption, obstruction of justice, destruction of evidence, many, many crimes. All of these are about to be prosecuted. That day has come. And so if you thought the last two years were interesting, you better buckle up because the next two years are going to be total political warfare in Washington, D.C. And the media is trying to destroy Trump. The media is on the side of the Democrats. The deep state is fighting for survival. Trump is fighting for America. And we, the independent media, are fighting for America and the end of censorship and the rise of patriotic Americans and the exposing of the deep state criminals who deserve to spend the rest of their lives behind bars. Obama himself could be stripped of his presidency. In fact, that may be about to happen. And I'm one of the ones who told you this six months ago, because I knew this was all coming. Hillary Clinton, lock her up, is not forgotten. It is about to become center stage of events that will take place. So keep reading Natural News. Keep watching brighteon.com for videos. We've got thousands of accounts now uploading videos every hour of every day watch you'll learn a lot just by by watching there check it all out and you know stay informed and stay safe and there's a lot yet to come this is mike adams here you can see my channel and hear my podcast at healthrangerreport.com learn more at healthrangerreport.com 
Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.